Man, what a crazy week it was. It was really weird for me to have as much free time as I did this week. With The girlfriend is out of town. She had a, a trip that she was going on. And so it afforded me a lot more opportunity to, to devote to getting out and hunting dinosaurs at night, for example, or waking up early in the morning as I did yesterday and cover the strike event and get a video out before most of you had probably already gone and done the strike tower. And I hope that my misplays or my not thinking things through clearly during the strike tower from yesterday, that you guys were able to use that and not make the same mistakes that I did. And, and yes, I know that I made a lot of mistakes when fighting yesterday's strike tower, for example. And, and typically when I'm battling live, and by live I mean while I'm recording instead of recording a game that I play and then voicing over it or commentating after the fact, I know that I make a lot of mistakes. And, you know, I'm not, like it's a game and it's okay. I'm not trying to make excuses, but the reality of the situation is that often, because typically my videos are out in public, there are so many things going through my head at one single time. A, what am I trying to say? First and foremost is in my head, I'm going over all the things that I want to say or I'm trying to convey to you, the viewer, that that is where my main focus is. My next focus is, What's going on in my surroundings around me? Are there people walking by me? What, what do I see over here in my peripheral vision? What do I see over there in my peripheral vision? Sometimes I'll look up at my screen and see what's going on behind me. So I'm distracted in that situation as well. And then often I'm more thinking, what am I trying to do than necessarily what is the opponent trying to do? And so, you know, I'm, I'm not making excuses. I can look back and say, oh, you know what, I, if I just swapped in a different dinosaur or taken two seconds to notice that Irritator actually didn't have in, have the swap in ability, um, that all plays into it. And so my channel is hopefully, you guys use it as a learning tool. And a lot of times in life, learning through failure is a better teacher than learning through success. If, if everything I do, on my videos works out perfectly, then I'm not gonna see where I have chances to improve if things go wrong and it costs me 500 hard cash because I don't know my opponent's abilities, then that's a good learning tool for you that you guys can say, you know what? I need to know what my opponent's abilities are. So it's been a great week. Um, you know, it, it is what it is. And, and I appreciate all the, the, the constructive criticism and feedback uh, in the comments from yesterday's video after I went back and watched it I was like oh yeah like I, I honestly don't know what I was thinking at specific times so it's that's kind of part of it is I'm like yeah there was obviously better plays that could have been made there but that's all in the past we've all learned from it and starting tomorrow when I'm recording this it's Sunday the 21st and we got an announcement from Ludia that starting on October 22nd, and you're gonna see my eyes looking down. It's because I'm on MetaHub's website. They have a great little write-up on the Halloween event, Halloween extravaganza, whatever you wanna call it. And so I highly encourage you, I'll put a link in the description below. I highly encourage you to, to jump over there and take a look at it. If you don't do that on the reg, you know, they post stuff up the day of where sometimes it will take me a day or two to get to topics. I, I try to kind of loosely plan out my week and when something pops up, sometimes I'm able to get to it right away. But other times if I've already done a video on a topic or I, I've already set up a couple of videos, I can't go and backtrack and take care of it. So MetaHub's a great resource. A while back, Ludia asked for a, a poll. They took a straw poll and said, what are the scariest dinosaurs? And through feedback, those are going to be the dinosaurs that we have for the week. Now they're not the dinosaurs of the week because those were announced today and it's kind of a, kind of a, a like a cornucopia to be seasonally correct here of dinosaurs. You've got some crocodile type dinosaurs, you've got some long neck dinosaurs and um, that's not all that's gonna be going on. And 
next week we'll we'll dive into those a little bit um my first thoughts are apatosaurus is going to be a go-to on it looks like monday and tuesday because notopatosaurus is it's a key ingredient for three different hybrids so that's it's going to be high on the list and notopatosaurus needs a patosaurus and a patosaurus is now a dusk dawn spawn only so the spawn frequency of those dinosaurs is way way down but we'll go into that later on the week i want to talk about we're going to get new strike towers and it looks like the strike towers are going to be centered around the common dinosaurs of allosaurus tanicolagrius and velociraptor the rare dinosaurs of gorgosaurus spinosaurus sucotator the epic dinosaurs of t-rex and gorgosuchus legendary dinosaur of indominus rex and then the unique dinosaur of indoraptor those are going to be the theme dinosaurs for the week the scary dinosaurs if you will and so we're going to get strike towers based on those dinosaurs it looks like there's no official word and we'll know more tomorrow but what is of most interest to me is this scent capsule now we're going to have it's going to be a Halloween scent capsule. I don't know if there's a specific name for it other than that. It, on their infographic, it looks purple. To me, purple and orange. It could just be black and orange with lighting that makes it look purple. But it's going to be for purchase in the stores, which I know a lot of people are in the store, which I know a lot of people are going to be like, money grab. But from what we're able to gather, it's also going to be available on Strike Towers. So the scent Strike Towers that you see out about. Um, I'm really excited over those, especially if they are going to have a higher drop rate of the dinosaurs that I mentioned earlier. Man, if you can get a unique dinosaur potentially out of one of these, and let me just be clear here. If you can get the legendary and or the unique dinosaur out of the scent capsule, it is going to be very rare, extremely rare. Like if you go if you have five of these and you don't get any of those, I'm not going to be surprised. I would imagine that the legendary would be somewhere in the neighborhood of like on a low side, one in 25. And I think that, I, that actually, I think that would be on the high side is one in 25. I think it's going to be extremely rare. I'm thinking like one in a hundred, maybe one in a thousand and one in 10,000 would not surprise me. They're not going to give away a unique dinosaur. And what they're doing is they're giving away all the ingredients to a unique dinosaur. And I just unlocked my Indoraptor and that, that I'll get into that in just one second. So that's what I'm most excited about. Like I said, we're going to know more starting tomorrow, but it looks like we could have probably 10 days. I'm going to say 10. If, if the event is going to start tomorrow and it looks like it will start on the 22nd, that's a Monday. Halloween, I believe is a Wednesday this year. And so it would not surprise me if it were 10 days unless the announcement comes out, to, the official announcement of how everything is going to work comes out tomorrow and then it goes, starts on Wednesday to Wednesday. That could happen. I'm more inclined to believe that it'll be a 10 day event. And that is what I'm most looking forward to for next week. I'm not playing Battle Arena anymore. Um, let me, I'm just, it, it, I'm, I'm telling you what it is. I haven't even played in two days now, but I'm not gonna play anymore. If you look, there's 18 hours left, which is gonna be a, probably about the same time that the announcement for what is gonna happen with the Halloween event, season two will end. And if you will remember, I got my Indoraptor, I'm like, I think my Indoraptor should be worth 100, 200 points. And if I go and look at the battle arena, <laughs> 42.50 on the dot. I'm not even gonna risk it. Like, I legit hit that number and I said, I'm good. That's kind of chicken of me, I'm not gonna lie. I've toyed with the idea of trying to push for another 250 trophies, so then I get some hard cash and some coins out of the deal, but at the end of the day, like, all it would take is losing three in a row for me to have to win probably four or five, I'm just not willing to risk it. I'm scared. It's Halloween time and I'm scared. 
Um, if we had more than just a couple of days to go before the end of the season, I would have continued playing, but this close to the end of the season, I just called it quits. So I'm a chicken, what can I say? But I'm there, so I'm gonna get the 500 Brachiosaurus and I'm going to get the Epic Incubator, so it's not a complete waste. The last thing that I wanna to touch on for today's video is, very quietly, you will notice that my Stegodius is ready to be leveled up. I have 400 DNA, I have the coins to level up, and look how expensive this is, 70,000. The reason why I haven't leveled it up yet is because, very quietly, Superiority Strike had a text change. Only a text change. But the text change is Clan's Distraction. Deal one times damage, target speed is reduced 33% for one turn. Now, if I am to take it at its word, then all of a sudden, Stego Diaz loses a little bit of its value. If all it's gonna do is cleanse a distraction, it's not gonna cleanse everything. So that that's pretty interesting. Now, it is not unprecedented for text changes like this to happen and the move doesn't actually change. That has happened before. I don't have any examples, but the folks over at MetaHub, in particular Pokemon, has said that yes, that has happened. And so I believe him. He does like a lot of information, a lot of stuff on the, the Dino decks for their website. But it is also entirely possible that this is a preview of a change yet to come. If you will remember, I, I like Stiggy Bullock. Like that's, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know, Stiggy Bullock is one of my favorite dinosaurs. And once upon a time, if I go look at my Stiggy Bullock, at once upon a time, the move of instant charge was 100% chance to stun for one turn. And then through a minor little update, it changed to 75%. Now it's still stunned 100% of the time, but as you can now see, the move was actually changed and it is in fact only stunning on a 75% chance, which leads me to believe that superiority strike could be getting a bit of a nerf. That is the reason why I have not leveled up my Stego Diaz. I kind of want to see which direction that goes because I probably won't change anything on my team just because it is, after all, level 22 dinosaur. But let's be real, I don't really have anything else that I'm gonna swap it out for. But I may not wanna spend the 70,000 coins to take it up to level 23. It'll still be a good dinosaur, but it just may not be the meta-defining dinosaur that it is today. Now with all of that being said, I've got some dinosaurs to create. The first one, I have is Brachiosaurus. It is an epic class dinosaur. It's been out for a long time now. It was predominantly only available in Canada for the longest time. And then after the Apple event, it wasn't available at all, except for in some rare instances of an incubator. Now it is available at night for sure. It might be a dawn and dusk epic as well. I'm only gonna take it to level 11. I'm not too worried about leveling this dinosaur up at the moment. I do have a Dilloranosaurus that is ready to go thanks to the week's events. So this was a really good dinosaur when it first was released and then it went through a little bit of a nerf and still really good. But you kind of want this dinosaur to be pretty high level and I could take this up to 17, maybe. <laughs> I need five fusions. I've got five Diller. I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can get off of this tin train that I'm on right now. I need four more. I only have three more worth of my Dillo, my Dilophosaurus. There was a 50. So now I'm for sure gonna unlock it, even if I go 10, 10, 10. So the 50 came in handy. Ideally, I would like to get something more than 10 here. Logistically, I get a 10. And I think Dilloranosaurus is definitely a dinosaur that's worth taking up to higher levels. Um, again, superiority strike may nerf 
its usefulness a little bit, but it does have impact and run, and impact and run could be very, very useful turn coming up in the near future. If superiority strike does take a nerf and it's only gonna cleanse distraction, I think that is going to actually make impact and run better because of the next dinosaur that I'm going to create, which is my Spinotosuchus. Spinotosuchus is a legendary hybrid that is really annoying <laughs> to go up against, especially at higher levels. It's a combination of, what is that? Spinotoraptor and the Caprosuchus. Um, I only have one fusion on that, so I'm not going to go any higher than 16 at the moment, but if Superiority Strike is taking a nerf and it's only gonna remove cleanse, this Lethal Wound, or just any dinosaurs have damage over time, but the Lethal Wound and the Swoop, which are all gonna be damage over time attacks, are going to be really, really good. And this is all based on the theory of Superiority Strike is getting a nerf. And if that's true, I think that opens the door to Spinotosuchus. I think it opens the door to Spinoraptor, Spinotoraptor, which also has the Gashing Wound, which is gonna do 0.3 of target's max HP for two turns. The reason why nobody uses these now is because so many dinosaurs have Superiority Strike that will just cleanse that out. And so I think if Superiority Strike is taking the nerf, I think that what that's gonna do is it's gonna open the door for damage over time dinosaurs like Spinotosuchus, Spinotoraptor, but I think that's also going to open the door for dinosaurs with impact and run and swap in abilities um, because you're gonna wanna get rid of those. Like if we look, if we go back and look, this dinosaur is doing 33% of your target's max HP. Cool, well let's just take a look. Let's just take a look here at um, I would do, I would look at my Stegodias, but I can't. So if I look at my Allosaurus, just as an example, my HP is almost 1300. Nope, scratch that. My HP is just over 35. So if I'm losing a third of that, <laughs> um, quick math will tell me that that's well over a thousand, like 1150, somewhere in there. Um, that's a lot of damage for not even attacking. I'm going to want to get that dino, my, my Allosaurus off of the field. The best way to do that is gonna be either dinos with swap in abilities, or if I have my, my uh, Paramoloch here that is attacking, it gets hit with the lethal gashing wound, then I can do the rampage and run or the impact and run and get out of that so I'm not consistently receiving. See, here's another one that's almost 3,600 damage, which is gonna be like almost 1,200 damage just for being on the board still. So I'm gonna to wanna to get that dinosaur off of the playing field as quickly as possible. So I think there's a good byproduct there. But those are my speculations. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Do you think it's just a, a text error? Do you think it was a preview of a change coming soon? And are you excited about this Halloween event. I think if you don't have Indoraptor, this is the week to get it. Like it, this will be your week to put in some time, put in some effort, do a little bit of grinding, see what the Strike Tower's rewards are. On top of that, see what the Scent Capsules are. It may be worth it to spend some of your coins depending on how much those Scent Capsules cost and what they are dropping, but that could be a good use of your hard cash. Um, if you catch this video before the end of the day today, you do only have a few hours left to the hard cash sale and the coin sale. This was seven full days of videos for you guys this week. Monday through Sunday, seven videos. I appreciate all of the support. It feels good to be back in a routine of doing videos on the reg. That's all I've got for today. So until next time.